we're going to show you how to punch down a Cat5 Keystone Jack. As you can see here on the table, we have a variety of assorted tools. We have our punch down tool, a pair of sharp scissors, a Cat5 cable stripper, our Cat5 Keystone Jack, and of course, some Cat5 cable. Next, you want to take your Cat5 stripper and your Cat5 cable. You open it up by squeezing the back of it. You want to slide it in there. Slide it about an inch and a half in. You take your finger, put it underneath here, and just twist. This will strip the protective coating off of the cables. Like so. Now you can see that we have four pairs of wires. Next. What you want to do, you want to untangle the four pairs of wire. We're going to take our piece of uh, shielding that we got from earlier. What you're going to want to do, just want to stick it in between the two wires, like so, and just twist down it. That is an easier way to get the wire separated so you don't hurt your fingers. And we're just going to repeat this. All four pairs of wires. And now we have four set the pairs of wires like so. We have our solid orange, our white with orange stripe, white with green stripe, solid green, white with brown, solid brown, white with blue, and solid blue. When you open up your package you'll notice you have two separate things there. You have the actual keystone jack itself and you have a dust cover which goes top of the keystone jack like so. What you'll notice next about your Cat5 keystone jack is there's eight pairs of colors inside of it. What does this mean? Well, what there is, there's an outside pair, which is B, as you can see on the top, on the very bottom there, and there's inside pairs, which are A. A is only used in very special circumstances. The majority of cables today are B. Next, you want to take your Cat5 wire. We separated the four pairs of wires. Take your keystone jack. You want to go ahead and lay this about a quarter of an inch in, right like that. And you want to go ahead and put the corresponding wires, which is, would be the B chart, in their slots. We're going to go ahead and place a solid orange in, and an orange or white stripes, and a solid green, and then the green with white stripes. Now you want to go ahead and take your punch down tool here. And if you notice, there's two ends on it. There's a dull end, which is flat. And there's now a little nub sticking out. That is a blade. That's actually going to cut our excess wire off right here. You're just going to go through the side where we place the wires on and punch down each one individually. That's going to put the wire down into the receiver so it will get signal and we're going to end up cutting the ends off. And if you did it right, you should just be able to twist these wires off like so. Voila. Now we've got one side done. Now we need to do the same with the other side. We'll put solid brown on the top. Brown white wire. And the solid blue. And then the blue white wire. Now we're going to repeat the process on the other side. One other thing I'd like to mention on your punch down tool here. Let's see you have that low impact high impact. It's a lot easier to have it on the high impact, so that way you don't have to punch it down more than once or twice. Sometimes you got to give, a, give them an extra little punch down because they don't want to come loose. And there we have our completed Cat5 Keystone Jack. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take your dust cover, this one right here, you're going to want to place this end over the Cat5 cable, like so, so you don't have to worry about any electrical interference. And there, you have your Cat5 Keystone Jack complete. For the final step, you're going to take a wall plate, which you can purchase from us directly at firefold.com. Just a plain basic white wall plate. It's the inside, it's the outside. You're going to take your Cat5 Keystone Jack, and if you notice here, there's two things. On the top here, there's a clip that's going to securely hold this in place. And on the bottom here, there's a little nub, which is going to just slide into a slot right on the inside of this jack, which you can see right there. Now you're going to take your keystone jack, you're going to put the bottom part, the nub, in first, and you're going to just clip it into place, like so. You've got your completed Cat5 keystone jack. You can purchase any of these supplies from us.